How's it going, boys? And 3.5% standard artifacts are back, and it's gonna get wild. We are gonna be using the Simulacrum Synthesizer and Urabresque Forge, three of some of the absolutely all-time most hated turn three plays in the game. It's gonna be fantastic. And then we have a bunch of things to supplement the Simulacrum, and that is not burning down the house in Brotherhood's End, but we do need some removal, and these are mighty fine choices, if I do say so myself. A little bit of lightning strike and fa fading hope, and here's the big kicker. Oh yes, we have the Celestus, we have big scores, we even have the Skinner Beam Battalion, because this is three separate instances of an artifact entering the battlefield, aka three separate instances of this proccing. It's a pretty decent combo. Circus Spender for a draw and life gain because we need a little bit of it, right? Chimmel just for everyday pleasures and the Pyrexian portal. Oh yeah, and our main goal is obviously reanimating the bata uh, the battalion Skinner Beam bot. Oh yeah, a combo that is extremely devastating and probably honestly completely uh, undefeatable in the late game if you get to there, but. I don't know if we're gonna get there. Honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this could be amazing. Or, I will suffer karmic justice. Which would be sad because, well, I don't believe in karma. 24 lands to be specific, 3.9 average mana cost. And that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. It's gonna be pretty interesting at the bare minimum. And well, as long as it's interesting, hey, I'm honestly kinda I'm, I'm honestly kinda happy with that, you know? In any case, let us go and find our first opponent when Wizard servers finally decided, hey, the hamster wheel is spun enough and we can actually find an opponent. Very cool. In any case, this is Is It Coloration, which is bad. Is it is by far the most disliked color combo in the game. Oh yeah. When you make an is it video, uh, no one likes it. And for good reason, it's is it. This is not a bad hand, honestly, considering everything. We do go first, and maybe if we get a basic land, we can just drop the sim uh, synthesizer instantly. Because fast synthesizer equals good stuff, I guess. Uh, oh, a mirror match. Okay, can I get a... Oh, we really need a basic land, wizards. We really need it. Come on. Let's believe. Basic land and it's Joker. It's over. It's come. It, it's complete perfect. Is he going to counterspell my simulacrum? Well, let's drop the Urabrisk 4. Ooh. He did not. Well. That's a shame. I really expected a counterspell there. I'm not going to lie. Well, in any case... Urabrisk Forge is still a mighty annoying card. And it's perfectly on curve, which makes it even better. And now he needs to rush. Because the most beautiful part of Urabrisk Forge is the fact that it pretty much always forces your opponents just to rush and do random things. Well, not really random things, but it forces them to act in certain... I'm gonna keep all of this. And I'm gonna make him, you know, tank twice about what's happening. Imagine you scry too and you keep everything. Oh, that must be some kind of uh, h higher sign or something like that, you know? But in any case, but in any case, too bad this is not uh, an artifact that enters the battlefield because it would work instantly. Ooh, wait, whoa, whoa. Well, burning down the house is kind of cute, so have fun with that. He obviously... Wait, did we just see what he took? <gasps> because it was scryed, we actually know what he took because there were only two options and it puts it at... Okay. Okay. Uh, that is a new interaction I never knew was even a thing. Uh, but in any case, yeah, at this point it looks... It doesn't look good for an essay, okay? Any value he has is against two of the risk forges. Yeah. I am not putting a lot of stalking Kadakhil's uh, chances of winning here. He can he can play my card. He can do it. But let's see if it actually pay and it's yeah, well he does it. What did you get? Ooh, a dragon. Very spooky. 
extremely spooky in fact doesn't matter literally playing random cards and it's amazing anyway <laughs> look at this damage if he had white he ha would maybe have a shot because you know he can get rid of the artifacts but well you can't you can't see what's happening it's beautiful i know thank you thank you okay first game so far so good looks amazing oh yeah so what does he do now maybe he rats but even if you rat again this is enough damage through a brisk forge just to win is he trying to remove the construct hmm okay i mean knock yourself out buddy if you want probably honestly not gonna work too much he's really contemplating his options i mean he contemplated real hot there i i don't think he even survives <laughs> and then an outrageous robbery yeah this is not the uh, the again we, we do honestly oh oh la la okay i want to land honestly here i ooh. Well, another one of these is also gonna be probably fine, you know? Uh, but yeah, we win anyway. Again, too much damage. Urabris Quad. So, while we are not the strongest against aggro, and maybe even midrange that has a really good shot at a start, we are still absolute devastation against most control builds because Urabris Quad and Simulacrum. Because I... I I mention this often, but I feel that I need to mention it more often. If you're up against control, control wins by clearing the board and then getting a card advantage because, well, typically, uh, control has way more card advantage than other decks, right? But, control can't win against something that's just possibly creating threats that are gonna win the game, aka token generation for free. Yeah, that thing works wonders, because Control can't deal with that. They just need to waste all of their value turns that they possibly could do, and, you know, it's not great. But in any case, hey, I'm not gonna complain. What a brisk forge. Go first, ooh. Ew. Could open with this, but in the off chance that we uh, we get a, get a fa uh, fading hope, I think I'm gonna stick with uh, the... The turn one store uh, co uh, coast drop, and again, if we get an Uber Brisk Forge, it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be pr it's gonna be pretty cool. Traffic uh, Jamas, yeah, it's Traffic Jamas. Nice name, interesting. Fibble Bib Avatar, a rock pit. the The fact that you can just click on the rock pit and it starts spazzing out like this. Oh, wizards, you disappoint me so often, and s and he's taking forever to even figure out that he's in the game. What's with magic players queuing up arena and then just going AFK? Seriously, can you not wait 10, 20 goddamn seconds and not start spazzing out and going on TikTok shorts or something like that because you have the attention span of a goddamn flea? Can you seriously not do that? Oh boy, this is sad. But it's a win probably, so you know. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Seems pretty good. Well, we do have a good early game and a late game. Too bad we're never actually gonna play this one now and it would be impressive. Oh yeah, he's just... Q's game! And that's it. Looking at my spider colony. I currently only see like two spiders, but the webbing has become bigger. Not necessarily better, but at least it's bigger. I don't understand why, by the way, they still uh, they are still here because I re-put the mosquito net in front of uh, the window that's literally right here in front of me. Yeah, I kind of did that. And yeah, he's AFK. Literally classic magic player. And the worst part is, we're gonna probably have to sit here for one more minute until he can see it. <sighs> sad. No, literally just, this is just sad. What kind of pe- what kind of people are here? Now, admittedly, considering I have seen the 
top Magic the Gathering statistics redditors with math degrees and stuff. Well, you know, the, the average player was probably a specimen and a half. At least he has the Fibble Bib avatar, you know, we're, we're keeping we're, we're keeping it lore friendly. Because Fibble Bib gets lost. <laughs> oh, I just yawned right there because, I mean, this is not doing anything for me. This is not firing the Albmans. This is not doing anything. At least I hope he doesn't magically come back in the last second and then we have to deal with this travesty. And god, god. Nice. It only took five minutes or something, wizards. Again, the av a turn in Magic the Gathering should never be allowed to be more than 20 seconds. And every time you put a play down, you get a plus, you know, three seconds of your time. That's how it should be, because wizard seriously needs to make the choice. And it's the choice that, by the way, Valorant is currently making. Uh, Valorant is trying to combat toxicity by making Valorant just a space, a safe space for uh, furries, PDF files, and all of that uh, stuff that everyone with with a single cell in their brains hates. And well, they're gonna destroy themselves. But Wizards is already doing it top notch without anyone's help, just by, you know, doing exactly. Oh, it's not the same guy for a moment that I thought, wait, it's, is, is it the same guy? Good, good, no, no, it's not. Well, now it's red. I guess it's fine. Ooh, Poker God. Not that it matters, honestly. At least it's not uh, the strongest to open the red, so I guess bonus points. Uh, but yeah, Wizards needs to just actually try and go for an audience of merit. You know, none of this garbage where you need 20 seconds to fit. Okay. That's definitely... Oh, I dropped the wrong lane, but that doesn't matter. Admittedly, it's shock value, I guess. I, I don't think I would have Brotherhood's End anyway, so it's fine, technically. Oh, my. Well, at least that's a good Brotherhood's End now. This doesn't have haste. There was a time when that thing was amazing. Technically, that time is still now, but it'd be with- Oh, I'm dealing one damage to myself. Thanks, Chi. Th thank you, Wizardo. I appreciate that one. Okay, I need to drop Urbrisk Forge for value. Play with fire just on the face, huh? I mean, okay. Oh, this is not that bad. At least, you know, we, we, ha we have a play. This, this play... I don't know how uh, fast this is. Do I lightning strike something? What do, what, what do I do? Hmm. But in any case, we, we, at least we have now options. The game is on, 9 HP, but that's not too big of a problem. We have Celestuses, we have Circuit Menders, we have a bunch of McGuff... Huh? Did, I'm sorry, did you just literally nothing? Well, if you just literally nothing, I think I can just play the Devils. Because against Red, he Red typically has only one flying creature. Which means, I don't want to actually even attack with Devils. This is just saving mana in case I need to board Frat. This is effectively the play that was done here. Oh yeah, big brain, I know, thank you. But yeah, Wizards needs to uh, concentrate on quality of players, not not whatever kind of garbage dumpster fire they, they thought that they are gonna do here. And now I feel not bad for- how is he not doing anything, by the way? I am so literally confused, but at this point I probably only need one blocker because lightning strike is gonna be enough. Honestly, I should have. Maybe I dropped. A set? Yeah, you know what? We're kind of creating. Well, lethal next turn. I really doubt that he can just get rid of me. So there's lethal next turn anyway because I can just burn all of this and deal enough damage. Well, that's kind of cool. No idea what's happening, why it's happening, but it's kind of cool. But again, anyway. Wizards needs to concentrate on quality of players, you know? Make turns 20 seconds, and if you AFK two times in a row for 20 seconds, you just instantaneously explode and surrender, and that's all, and that's all good, you know? Ma and that's it. That's that's one of the things. I, and I know there will, will be a couple of mouth breathers, com com complete failures in life, who are going to say, But I need 40 seconds to... 
figure out if I want to drop a leg on turn one. I need the optimal play. Your optimal play was never being born. But here we are. Okay? Here we sadly are. So, there are a... Ooh, double chinel. What a time to be alive. Oh, look at that! 65 cards. At least it's not 80. Jose Ernesto. Okay. Lord of the Rings ring. Ooh. Someone even could call it the One Ring. Is the One Ring supposed to do that? Just turn gold like that? I don't, I don't know. It's not, it's not, I'm not sure. Anyway. And AFK again. Are you actually kidding me, wizards? Are you legitimately kidding me, wizards? Oh no, he, he only took for it. Oh, oh my god, here we go. Again, again, there's literally no reason we should make the game friendly to these absolute failures. L look at this. L look at this. Dinosaur. Jesus. Actually, that the fact that it's dinosaur is good for me because maybe I can actually get the simulacrum out fast enough. Because we are definitely gonna have the rat here. Depends on what he does. Eh, maybe that's not the first case scenario. There could have been worse situations out there. And with Chimmel, it's actually pretty solid, not gonna lie. Depends on what we draw. If he plays, obviously, something with a buff. Jeez, the poker godlessness. Very cool. I want all of this, obviously. The good part about this deck is you can see if when we're scrying, we kind of always want everything. <laughs> because it just, it's, it's just that good, technically. Okay, so... I There should exist a hidden queue where people who cannot drop their land on average in less than... The hell is this? Well, actually, I know what this is, but... Why can you attack? You, you know, you can't attack. For a moment there, I, I, I thought that it can't attack. That would have been a little bit slightly a lot of danger zone. In any case, there we go. That is a 3-3 now. Very impressive blur. And I think I'm definitely burning down the house. So let's put the cat on purple. He's gonna get a lot of... But yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that is 100%. That is uh, burning everything to the ground, in fact, I am. Yes, yes, yes. Where did I get that yes, yes, yes from? I think it's like some kind of children's movie or something. Anyway, burning down the house. Not misclicking the devils, because that would be really, really, really bad. Man, by the way, this is literally just overpowered. The fact that you can do this for one and use it as RAM. Kind of OP. Haven't used it yet. But, well, maybe I never will, honestly. Who honestly knows? Mm-hmm. Pretty strong. I'm kind of afraid of the uh, terrors of the peaks. I'm not afraid of you, though. You're, you're kind of a failure in my eyes. In any case, I wonder what's my best draw here. Ah, uh, Fading Hope is pretty good. Honestly, considering everything. Okay, yeah, Fading Hope is actually not even that bad here. If we get a land uh, also, even better, because this is gonna be... 5, 6... We're a little bit off of just Porta O. Could this actually work? Well, I definitely have to play this and just kind of hope I don't die next turn. Now, admittedly, he doesn't have too much, so maybe... Maybe there's a good shot that, you know, something good happens here. This is a little bit tight, not gonna lie. Oh, the press forges. No, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be chimiling in this situation. So the brisk forge is not that useful, I guess. Yes, we need the land. Play the chimil, fading hope, perfection. Okay, okay. Okay, boys, we're, we're hitting it big. We're hitting it out of the park. Cat not on purple. Oh my god. Poof. That's what I deserve for not having... What is this garbage? Dumpster fired up the beanstalk. Why? All the cards we have seen so far are almost complete. What do you, what, what do you even do with your life? Are you going to actually try and, like, you know, fight me or something? 
I guess this is cute, but yeah. Um, I have absolutely no problems with actually blocking this as, as hard as it's gonna be for some people to, you know, think. Because, again, afraid of Terror of the Peaks. Three damage, blah blah blah. I'm, I'm not okay with this, you know? Definitely not big okay. In any case, the value plays are off the charts. So, this is kind of good. Because, well... Chimil can find actually other stuff, and that's gonna be go good. Big good, in fact. And now, obviously, we kind of have the full sur surplus of play options available to us. And by the way, boys, Season of Discovery, Phase 4, soon. Ah, uh, sure, why honestly not? It's gonna be annoying, so might as well honestly do it. Oh, I even get the scribe because of reasons. What a brisk forge! No, 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 no. Sadly, no. Big no. I need either a land, because that is almost perfection, or I need something else. In any case, at least we finally found a way to use the synthesizer with something that is not white, which is nice. I mean, the white synthesizers are, are obviously pretty good and whatnot, but uh, who the hell are you again? Okay. Well, actually, I know. Oh, does that even go away? <laughs> go away. I don't remember how the saddle mechanics work, but I'm not dealing with any of that gunk. Okay. I mean, it's a pretty good gunk combo, dude. This thing's OP, right? It just it just wins when it attacks, and it attacks well every time because it has haste see that's my fading hope is pretty good anyway i can do this that's that's just gonna be more more stuff and you know things and whatnot do i need to attack though that is probably a good point Ooh. Ooh. okay okay do i attack with everything I feel like I should just attack with one and see see how the better is faring, you know? If he block, he does block. Okay. I guess he doesn't care about this. Golemot's pretty cool though, gotta admit. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. I guess I guess that makes perfect sense in blocking. Well, in any case, we found nothing of value. Wow, that is a very, very ominous miss. But there's no way, there's no way, right? There is no way he can uh, do the galloping thing. Or there is. I really need to read this card, but I don't feel like it. Oh, wow, I should probably steal this combo. I'm not 100% even sure how this works, but, you know. Yeah. It creates tokens, but how it creates tokens, literally clueless. In any case, one token, right? No, two tokens. Why two tokens? Also, the fact that they have trample is ludicrous. Okay, do I even survive this? Yes, I actually do. Wow, I actually, I actually do, huh? So, if I get a land, I win. If I don't get a land, well then. That's really bad, that's really bad. Yeah, see why I didn't want to attack honestly at the beginning? So it sacrifices... Oh my lord! Oh, hot diggity diggity Wait, what, 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 hello? Viscosi, how do I not have enough mana? 7 a oh my lord it's actually eight mistakes were arguably well met oh i should have also clicked that yeah that's that's completely on me not gonna lie anyway uh let's just do this and deal a little bit of damage because i mean at least it does something not enough but well something hopefully we get something cool what a brisk forge. Yeah, no, not, now's not the time, what a brisk forge. Well, I still have stuff, but again, is this enough? 
Why does you why does this asshole create two copies? How is that balanced? Attack saddles choose non-legendary creature saddle and create staff and then attacking a token that's a copy of the sacrifice. Wait, what? Choose a non-legend saddle this turn. Create a tapped in attacking token that's a copy of it. What do you mean? Oh, well, I'm actually dead. Wait, why? Oh, because of... Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, this is something I may actually steal. Again, saddle OP, it is what it'd be. But why does it create two copies? That's so redundant. What, how? How does it make sense that it's two goddamn copies? It, it doesn't say two copies. Create a decision. Create a tapped and attacking token. That's a copy of it. Sacrifice that attacks with the saddle. Cho attacks with saddle. A saddle. Choose a non-legendary creature. Saddle it and this turn create a tap. I, I don't get it. Why is it two copies though? It literally doesn't say two copies. I'm confused. Well, anyway, onward we go, I guess. What a great time. Waited for the guy and then he just saddled me like... Not good. But we can definitely steal that and actually improve upon it. Well, improve upon it drastically. You can have so many combos with that. You can have Terror of the Peaks. You can have Railway Brawlers. You can have... Uh, in this uh, titans of industry you can have so many things with that it's actually insane yeah it's about time boys i know i know what is this it's stuff okay drop this we have a circuit mender and we have a, a celestus and celestus is big Ooh, me likey yeah 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 okay what do you think he's playing do something he's doing something Oh, to do something faster. Oh, okay. Do we do we think he has counter spells? I'm I'm gonna go with no. Huh. Well, he just let that happen. Is he gonna just drop the clue? This proliferated, right? Attacks the stra. <laughs> Direct the. Direct counter! Well played, wizards, well played. What a time to be alive. Direct counter, you say? Oh my god, you... Again? Wait, this has even haste? Bruv. Like, listen. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and we are gonna ditch this, because it's kind of useless at this point. Hmm. Okay. Can't attack, but that's fine. So, this... Wait, this has haste also? Vigilance, Trample, Haste. Oh, and a Varenslix. Jesus. Stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just kind of stop. Oh, that's, that's pretty neat, honestly. Considering the circumstances and whatnot. Do I want to... Yeah, I want to do it like this because I just want to probably get rid of the Varenslix and this is fine. Okay, attack. Attack my sweet little thingamajiggy. Okay, so he has a Vorenslix. I have literally nothing of value. But we do have a pretty decent chance of playing the Pyrexian Portal. And when we do that, that's good. That's good. And I like that. Okay, how about you just, you know, relax and shit. Uh, how, 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 about, how about them potatoes, potatoes? How, how about just, like, you know, relaxing? And I think I'm forced to do this because this stays on the battlefield anyway. Well, maybe I wasn't forced to do this, but I forced myself, boys. It is what it is. Anyway, maybe that was not a smart choice. Probably not a smart choice. Six, seven, eight. Yep, definitely not a smart choice. Why does everything have trample? Why, and why is everything above 5 HP, huh? Huh? Wizards? Huh? Anyway. Dude, the clicking here is just so annoying. Anyway. He takes the exchange? Why? Well, actually, I can kind of figure out why. He wants to play something more. But that's okay, because I will play Portal to Pyrexia. And when we do that, 
I mean, we have a good shot because we're gonna get that Vault Titan, boyo. Hmm. Well, that's all his mana, which is good. Destroy artifact. Ah, don't even care, boys. Don't even care. It's beautiful no matter how you spun it. Anyway, I'm gonna... He's gonna attack. I'm gonna fully block this because I want all of the Vault Titans uh, out and about. Take a little bit of damage, but that's no big deal. Bam. 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 I'm surprised he didn't shield the Vault Titan, because that's kind of a big deal, honestly. It's a really powerful card, as we all know, and love. Or not love at all, because reasons. In any case, my misplay turned out to be not a bad misplay, as always. Again, fortune favors the bold boys. And sometimes, that's just me. Oh yeah. Anyway... There we go, pretty good stuff. And fading ho Oh my lord, he he has fading are you kidding me? I mean is this a joke? Is this like a practical some some kind of practical shenanigans? You literally have a guy who's using destroy destroy artifacts as baseline and here's a titan of industry. Wizards, you couldn't be more on damn point, okay? And he's playing fading hope. Jeez Louise. Well, I guess I'm gonna concede that one. Yeah, no real way of winning from there. But I guess that's fine. Oh yeah, at least hey, at least he didn't AFK at us. He only at one moment took a very, 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 very long time to figure out is he dropping a land. It was impressive. <laughs> hey, I have the excuse of taking my time sometimes. Because I'm talking and you know recording and all of that goodness. But the typical player, no. And even, you know, while doing this, I still take my turns pretty fast. And then there's a bunch of people in the comments, You missed it! And I'm like, thank you, thank you. How? Oh, oh, it wasn't actually a misplay. Exactly. Exactly. Lightning strike, that's ominous. Cat on purple for less ominous situations. We do have all the colors that we need, though. And we do have a bunch of turn 3 and whatnot plays with a Circus Mender, so... Even... He's not aggro, probably, though. Do you think we're gonna be stuck onto... He is? Huh? Do you think we're gonna be stuck on two lands after playing the Lightning Strike? <laughs> kinda feels like it, not gonna lie. Kinda feels like it. Let's see. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a really oh, Merdio mios. Very cool. Very cool. And another one. Okay. Well, destroy one of them at least. That's that's gonna be the play that needs to be uh, made made here. Making. Oh wait, if I drop a circus, well again, it's not like I'm gonna be able to drop anything because you know two lands. Oh skill skill based gaming. I love you so much. It's, it's like playing Counter-Strike and you have a knife and your opponent has, well, any weapon and it has infinity ammo and you're, you're, you're literally uh, right there in front of each other in a straight line, but he has all the advantages. Technically, I can still burn him and this is fine. That's actually kind of big because, again, I kind of need two or three lands here because he can... What's with these people and not having anything to play with four lands and playing red? Is this a joke? Is this some kind of dumb joke? Is a braid gonna just pop out of goddamn nowhere at this point? Actually, I shouldn't have kept that. But... Oh, I actually also have one in my hand also. Oof. Well, big oofs for big oof. I kind of care more about dropping a Circus Mander here more than, you know, with a brisk forge. Because again, it's all about that life gain. It's all about that life gain. And establishing a lot of dominance. And extra card draw is also pretty cool. Pretty cool. In any case... We're gonna really try and get rid of the construct. You're gonna try to get rid of the Circus Mander? How can you have five mountains and nothing to do? How? 
I need an explanation like I'm five. Oh, oh, there's the explanation. Because he's playing Stroke of Flames. I have seen other people play Stroke of Flames. Uh, let me tell you right now. Absolute stupidity. Stroke of Flames is literally never a legit choice to actually play. There are no excuses, in fact. Stroke, uh, Stroke of Flames in Mono Red is not good ever. There are no circumstances where this card is even remotely worth considering. The art is cool, I'll give you that. Uh, but other than that, no, again, no, absolutely not a single reason to ever consider it. I'm gonna start bouncing Circus Mander. Or not, because he just conceded, which is big good. Kinda enjoyed that one, boys, not gonna lie. Wizards asked me that I like the match. Also, one point away from breaking up. Yay! So good at this game. I need to go farm incursions on my Shadow Priest. Because honestly, Shadow Priests without needing to reapply all, all your dots sound really good for phase 4. Not gonna lie, boys. So maybe I should do that. Anyway, this is Kuzer Sinsen. Have a nice day. Bye bye.